Hello everyone, welcome back to EVE Market, your weekly look at EMR Market. Um, I had one comment last week that were uh, a little bit issues at watching my videos at 720p, uh, especially the market cost. All the text is getting quite blurry. Um, I have tried a lot of settings, uh, trying to get a better testing, uh, different recording settings. So if I go towards OBS, towards uh, recording, I am using the stream encoder. Uh, try the other two, that's really hammering uh, my PC quite a lot. Uh, so not able to do it. But, and then on the scale it's uh, at 4K. Uh, then on the video settings, uh, ba basic resolution is 4K, uh, scaling it down to 2K uh, at uh, Laxos, so 32 samples, samplers. Uh, it should be quite sharp, but unfortunately it's not really coming out sharp. I've, I think I've tried about 10 different settings uh, in total, uh, uploaded to YouTube trying to get it sharper. I'm unable to make it sharper at the moment. It's uh, not working out, cannot get it better. Uh, tried so much stuff, I've been busy for like an hour, uh, did not get it to work out. So unfortunately, on that case, uh, didn't work out. Uh, need to watch it for now at least at 1080p, unless someone has any ideas how to get it better, uh, get it sharper. Maybe I just have to record it in 2K uh, for it, but. I cannot go into 2K, it just kills my uh, PC with it because my CPU cannot handle it. Um, other videos that will be coming out, of course, I finally uh, managed to record that in 4K in MP4, uh, but that's not quite too heavy because, like I'm doing now with OBS, uh, OBS is also the only option to have the bar with the text above it. Uh, if you do it with the other one, I'm not able to do that. I need to do a lot of editing after that. Uh, this way, I don't. Uh, other videos uh, will be coming out quite soon. I may be having one coming out this weekend of EVE Online and then another one that still need to be uh, re-recorded in 4K and bring that one out and that's a lot of editing on that one. So, right now that's out of the way, we're like three minutes in. We're gonna start off with the market. Uh, let me get my net sheet up. I can see if we have any record bottom or high prices. Gonna start off with titanium. Well, my mouse cable is too short. Uh, titanium uh, this week, uh, not. You see a little bit ups and downs, but it looks to me uh, more on the five-day average. It's starting to flat out a bit on the price. Not a huge amount uh, on the movement. If I scale up a little bit, uh, we may see a little bit easier what price is doing. Um, yeah, we see just high and low, so we're still sitting in the 4 range uh, for titanium price, but looks to be quite stabilizing out at the moment on the prices, uh, not huge movements on there. Um, 4.46 for the sellers and 4.10 for the buyers. Uh, not too much on the chains there, it's uh, slightly lower than last week at least. Uh, well, not when I type 41. <laughs> it's wrong. Um, so slightly lower on price, and not doing too much. Uh, the bar above, by the way, is still not fixed. Uh, I was trying to fix it last week, um, but we're out of time to do it. And ferrite uh, is apparently a really, really high price for someone. Uh, yeah, someone bought ferrite in for over a thousand is per unit. Good job. Someone is happy. So let's try to get this one scaled up a bit to the right resolution. It's probably gonna break quite soon again. Yeah, that, that's the max scale I can do even now. Wow, never reached that. Right, Ferrite. Uh, we've seen a little bit in the, over the last weekend, beginning of the week, a little bit of an uptrend on the price. What's the 6 ISK? Uh, we've seen it pretty much around the 6 ISK still, but we've seen a little bit of an uptrend on the price there. Uh, for the last four days it dropped again a little bit lower sending around the 20 day average prices still around the 66 quite a big sales yesterday on ferrite 780 million units that's quite a lot on uh, one day for here like double the amount but 
on average we're still quite stable on the price it's not going like ridiculous other ways uh, still sitting just above the 6x for the seller 6.16 uh, 6.12 next door and on the buy is 5.87 that is a small increase but like minimal uh, and not too many buys so that's coming on the right size orders in here so can uh, pretty much go both ways here the max loan is still the best one to see here uh, also here someone buying it at a really really bad price almost for 200 is per unit it's, uh, someone's buying it at the wrong prices here I scale it up a bit there we go I see uh, max loan making a quite of a dip here in the beginning of the week uh, dropping quite low to 72, probably even 70. Yeah, we dropped even towards 70 for a few days. Yes, 71. Quite of a drop. Uh, did not expect this drop. We see also, uh, see sales amount are pretty normal. Uh, but the price is definitely going down, so it looks like there's coming some uh, more supply to the market for Maxwell. Uh, I think there's a buy and sell of this difference maybe because we're sitting here a little bit higher but we see how definitely making a downtrend on the price 74 74 still but the lowest we got this week is 70 so that's quite low on price there but we see already uh, here 5 day average is already starting to go back up again so I guess we're heading more back towards the 74 maybe 73 gonna hit it I'm not sure on that, on average price, still for the sellers, they are at 79.33 on that, and yeah my field is standing on 3 jumps, there's a uh, good reason for that. Um, for the buyers, uh, next door sitting at 72.46, uh, that's a 72.45 here in the system. Um, so. Yeah, that's uh, quite of a difference between those two. Not sure, it looks like there's a lot being bought off the market. It's at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 new orders came in here. On Maxilon. Uh These are a few new ones, but not really. I think, I think these are all like less than a day old. These are more than a day old on next top five here it should be only day old so uh maxlon looks like it wants to go down in price uh earlier this week but uh it, it managed to do it but it also started to straight away recover again so not really going down anyway even the price price went uh, slightly up on this so yeah then i should you So here someone is buying really really bad prices. Hydrogen is uh, beginning of the week was quite stable sitting still nicely around the 49.50. A uh, little bit up trend here to still 49. And then we had a little bit drop to 48. We had not even drop here to 46. Quite low someone did sold a bunch on the market. Uh, at least a double amount of sales that day. Push the price down to 46, but the next day is already straight back up towards the, uh, 49. Uh, but surprisingly, also today it dropped again towards 46. So here we see buy sellers sellers difference again. Uh, so on the buy side, the price seems to be quite dropping at the moment. Uh, on the seller side, they are still keeping the price quite high. Uh, it looks like also quite a lot of that's getting sold out on there. Uh, 49.88 for the sellers and 45.15 for the buys. So buys are going going down the price because it was 48 last week even. So buys price is going down. It looks like we are getting uh, some supply towards the market. Orders getting fulfilled. So price starting to drop here on the buy side for oxygen. Uh, sellers are still. St Staying quite high, so one, two, three, four, five, six new ones coming in here, maybe seven. 
quite a few new ones coming into market. Not really huge amounts, to be honest, but still it's not doing uh, too bad on that. Then let's go on for Noxium. See what Noxium is doing. Noxium is still uh, still slowly crawling up in price. We see only between yesterday and today we see a drop. It's the first drop this week for the Noxium. Uh, but Noxium got quite high, 369 yesterday, uh, a little bit early this week, 374 even. Uh, quite high prices for Noxium for that. Uh, yes, Noxium is uh, definitely still going up. It's uh, looking quite healthy on that side. I still running. I still have like a nice supply lying around that I bought below the 300 even. Uh, I think I have 7, 8 million lying around for that still, but I'm still happy with that. Um, so yeah, Noxium is still uh, going up, but I'm a bit worried about this top here now. That you might have seen the highest price already. And that we are going to go down in price during the weekend and maybe the upcoming weeks. Good turnaround, of course. But since we are already sitting pretty much on the normal sales for today. Um quite close by at least I have a feeling we're gonna see Noxium starting to drop soon uh, 269 for the sellers uh, 333 for the buyers it's, it's a 3 years drop from last week so we are seeing a bit of a drop uh, order size not too huge first big one is right here straight away 7.5 million units uh, so, price can drop quite quickly. Yeah, what is the sales amount per day? A few million per day. Uh, so, these orders can get filled up quite quickly within a day. Uh, dropping to 330. This, this is where it's gonna hang for at least a few days. So, it can drop a bit. Then, Shinerit. The harder minerals to get depending on where you live. Uh, so Shinerit is on the drop a bit. Uh, did recover the... Made the drop already last week. And quite of a big drop in price. Uh, we had this huge dip here. Then again we already started to recover a little bit during the beginning of the week. And I see three days for a higher price. Then again we see another drop to 970 for Shinerit. Well, we're covering again to above a thousand, but we see still again now a drop in price for Zynrit. Five day average is still on the drop. Uh, 20 day average is slowing down a little bit, but it's because of this bump up. But since there's still more supply, because we've got two days here, bigger sales on that. Pushing the price again down for Zynrit, so it looks like Zynrit is... Uh, on the drop again so expecting maybe uh beginning in the weekend or beginning of the week next week i see another really really low prices for zynerit on that uh it's 1021 for the sellers already uh it's quite a good amount coming in on the market here quite uh large amounts for that uh on the buyers we're seeing clearly below the 1985 next door 984 uh, here local so we see definitely uh, drops on prices well the buys price is going a little bit up I see there's maybe a little bit of good news on that uh, still this this is quite a big order that came in here mega site um, did when they make the drop last week continued on pretty much for the whole week the five day, the five day could not even give up because the price dropped so quickly here uh, 12,265 that dropped towards that I've been sitting there pretty much for the whole week uh, five day was still trying to uh, catch up with that 20 day it's always slower but five day had had some time needed to catch up where the price is sitting now uh, but sitting pretty much for the whole week flat on that we've seen a little bit of a bump up on price yesterday almost 1300 for mega site on the average price but today we already uh, back down to the normal to 1250 uh, that's even 
slightly lower than was most of the week. Um, not really sure whether this one's gonna go on the weekend because uh, it's so low. Uh, weekends sure usually slows down a little bit in sales, but you won't expect because this this is during the week. It's, uh, this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Sunday is usually the sales time to uh, pick up. Uh, it's really depending, but usually uh, if you look closely, the uh, Saturday is a little bit weaker on the sales, and Sunday really picks up and then drops during the week the sales. So I think it may be gonna drop a little bit more during the weekend. 1297 for the sellers, 1230 for the buyers. That's one next door, basically the same price uh, locally. Um, that, that, that did went slightly up on that side. And more I have a feeling I'm uh, dropping a little bit on FPS. Uh, no, I'm doing fine. Alright, uh, more fight. Um, there we go, more fight. Making such a rapid movements here, we had this uh, huge seals yesterday with this incredible sharp corner in here. That uh, huge drop in price. Uh, sitting around uh, 8870 for like uh, a few days, someone thought this price is gonna stay. Uh, this is quite low price, so someone bought in a huge amount of Morphite. What looks to be a really good point that he done that. Because we're sitting here just below the, the 9000. We are now straight back up. Uh, 9600, 9700 on price. So it went up suddenly quite quickly. Uh, after this huge sales. But it might indicate he had a good, good choice for that. But... If he's not gonna, if he's gonna meant to use it for itself, then okay. But if he wants to make it to sell it, price is still dropping on Morphite. Uh, we see already here, uh, three days ago, uh, a drop to 9,000. So Morphite is still dropping on the price. It, it did went quite quickly back up here towards the uh, 9,886. That stayed pretty much there for two days. But after that we started to make a drop again of the price. 9,674. Drop again more here. Bigger drop here. Almost 9,000. It did recover here a little bit towards the yesterday to 9,500. Still today lower price. Morphite is basically still on the drop on price. 9,500 for the sellers. 9,211 for the buyers. Uh, buyer's price did went slightly up, so don't worry too much about that. No, slightly uptrend on there. Some regular salvage around in this neighborhood. I really noticed I'm missing one here right now. Some contaminated nanite compound. Uh, armor plates looking still quite healthy. It's still going up in price. Uh, quite high price for today even. Uh, 21,000 plus on there. Uh, pretty much for the rest of the week still above the 20,000 on that. Came quite low from just above the 20,000 but it looks quite healthy here for armor plate sales. Uh, if you have some I should wait a little bit longer. I have a feeling because this one is quite steep going up. I'm gonna see here another spike up for the price for armor plates. We had a quite a big spike uh, here. Normal, I can move this graph, I cannot, there's a lot of issues with the 4K screens in EVE. Um, so we had quite high prices here, of course it came from a lot higher, but still, 24,000 compared to the no lower price of 19, still 4,000 profit per plate. So, again, uptrend in here, um, I expect this one to keep on continuing on the weekend. Currently, for the sellers... Uh, almost 23,000 units, uh, 23,000 units, 23,000 ISK for sellers, 
And there's more than 500 units on the buy side, 20,750. Uh, definitely increasing in price on there. In logic circuits, still on the drop in price, the line keeps steadily going drop. It's almost like a straight line you can see on this. Quite nice drop on that. Uh, it is still quite high for this, but there's still a lot of coming towards the market. You can see here, uh, sales spikes, highest sales beginning of the week, middle of the week, and then start dropping off. Quite low sales for today, by the way. Still. Really, really low sales. Don't know why. It's really, really far behind compared to all the other days. We see also a small increase in here, but it's doing that all the time. Uh, small increases drop, increase drops. Um, I'm just gonna expect this one to keep on dropping in price. Uh, 41,000 for the sellers, 39,000 for the buyers. Uh, that's a quite of a drop on the buyer side, because it was 42,500 last week. So, the I stop dropping quite quickly on there. Right interface circuits. Uh, made a drop last week. On the week before that. Uh, quite rapidly. From the 6,000 towards an average price of 4,500. Uh, it's sitting there pretty much for the whole week. In this case. Uh, big sales by the way. Uh, yesterday. On that push the price already a little bit down to 4417 or 465 on that so it uh, had a bit of a drop on here uh, it came from quite high so it looks like uh, fried interface circuit is slowly starting to drop more and more in price after the huge spike that we had yeah the climb up around november november december on that well, it looks now this self is also starting to uh, drop down. I don't think it's going to go back towards the old price. S still. Uh, there's quite a lot coming straight away on the market here. Uh, 30,000 units. Pretty much uh, on that. Or 4,678. For that, it's a quite a huge amount. If you look at the other price, that one gets uh, bought up 5,000 to 5,200 you're gonna pay straight away for that then. Uh, on the buy side, not too many. 4,417 on that. Uh, this went slightly up on that price, came from 4,000 last week. But if this one gets fulfilled, then we're dropping away the back below the 4,000 on the price for this. Melted capacitor consoles, they are uh, starting to increase in price. Uh, we see quite of a jump up here last uh, last week. Was that last week? Let's see, I don't know what was the date last week. I need to check that. Um, last week was the seventh. So yeah, why did start going up last week slightly, but it continued on even on the weekend on the Saturday. Uh, but the Sunday it straight away dropped back down again, uh, back to a normal price. Uh, but there's a very very small increase during the week on that uh, again we're seeing now on the friday a spike in price may see not a high spike tomorrow and maybe we're gonna get again a drop or it stays that high uh really unclear because it done it here went up in two days time on price and drops straight away back down to a normal price uh, might indicate we're gonna do the same thing again or we're gonna get even a higher price. But look at sales amount is quite normal. Look, looking at the supply, quite low. Uh, there's definitely more buyers than sellers. Uh, 35,900 currently for the sellers. Uh, 31,000 for the buyers. Buyers are not really going up on that side. So someone bought off quite a lot on the market and pushing that side up. The power surge in the other end is going down in price. Uh, quite of a big drop after the weekend. Last time, this is the sun. This is the Saturday even that is dropped down. It was last week's recording at the eight. Oh, it was here. It was last week. The seven was last week's recording. Uh, we stayed at the 18, 13,800 on the sales day on average. See on Saturday, Sunday, 
quite of a drop in price here. Also, sales amount went up on these days, pushed the price quite down on that. Um, after that, we're seeing a small recovery again on price, back to 12,000, seeing that pretty much the whole week, slight uptrend to 12,300 on that. Uh, almost 12,400 for today even. It's also here, quite low amount of sales on that. It's not too bad, the price is also this one is recovering after the uptrend. I don't think it's gonna go much lower. Uh, if you look at here, now we're sitting pretty much on the normal price for it, even slightly lower on that. No, it's not a bad price for that. Uh, yeah, prices are quite a lot of difference. Uh, there's one here in the system that's basically at the wrong station for that. Uh, probably some of the stakes after for it will uh, pick it up. Uh, one next door at 12,337 um, but locally here can you pay 13,450 for that or this on the seller side on the buyer side 12,300 currently uh, it's uh, quite of a drop on there then Plex really interesting I have have not sold anything of my Plexes I've really put up I put two plexus up on the market, uh, not here at some perimeter. I put up for a really, really baldy price, guessing it will go up. Uh, but looking at the MR market here, plex is still going up, uh, quite slow. But we are crawling towards the 1.2 billion on average price. 1 billion, 119 million currently is the average price for today. Um, we might cross the weekend on the average price to 1.2 billion. We might. I, I give it about 50-50 for that. On that chance, that is gonna cross the 1.2 billion mark uh, during the weekend. But not really sure. But it looks really healthy on the black side. It's going up. Uh, black changes next uh, next patch. No, it looks healthy on that side. Uh, current prices for the sellers, even next door, we already crossed 1.2 billion, 1 billion, 210 million on that. Uh, on the buyer side, 1 billion, 180 million. Uh, getting really also close to the, towards the 1.2 billion on that. Uh, you see, I don't have a black shop here. Uh, I, my, I said mine was quite boldly at the 1 billion to 50 million up on the market and promise quite bold and think if you have plex um, if you have plex lying around that you want to sell it won't won't be a bad idea to uh, set up a put it up on the market for quite high price because we may we may cross the 1.2 billion on the buyers even soon uh, so I guess in these they're, they're not huge quantities on the market uh, this is one of five here. There's eleven there, uh, six. So we're getting a little bit high quantities around the one point one billion two hundred forty-three million. So I, I give the good chance that the seller's side is gonna hit the one billion two hundred fifty million, close to it, or at least the one billion two hundred forty million. I give it quite a good chance on that. Uh, well, it's not a bad idea to uh, if you have blacks to. Uh, Drop it on the market. Drone parts. Let's see what these are doing. Uh, drone fluids. Uh, not too much movement in here. Uh, we saw a small uptrend in the beginning of the week, but it's pretty much stabilized for the last three, four days. Not a huge, huge amount of movement on there. Uh, Quite stable on that. Uh, 160,000, little bit top yesterday towards 150,000, uh, 160,000 on there. Uh, so really stable for the seller side, seeing pretty much 173,989 on the sellers, on the buys at 151,000. On cerebral fragments, yeah, what should I say? It's a flat line, pretty much. 
Uh, but there's a small drop here for two days uh, on the sales. With two days a little bit higher sales. There's one calm uh, normal day, day in between it. Um, but you see already for today we're sitting pretty much back at 170, 180,000 on the price there. There's, there's really no movement here. It's really, really stable. Uh, 180,000 uh, for the sales coming in quite low. It's only 22 units. Uh, then you go 190,000 on the seller's price. Uh, for the buyers, 140,000. The drone coronary unit, uh, this one is still going up in price, as you see, uh, heading towards uh, highest price going this week, almost 5.4 million. Uh, sales went quite up here for a few days. Uh, it was also for a few days quite low on the sales, but that had no effect on the price, maybe a little bit when the sales started to go up. The price stayed a little bit lower, but you can see for the last three days still an uptrend in price. Uh, I'm expecting this one definitely to keep on going up more. Because it, yeah, it can go a little bit more, but it's possible quite high here. So we may gonna see after this drop another increase in price for a while. The uh, highest price here was f around 50 million, 14.5 million. Check now at 5 million. I'm guessing at least we're gonna get 6, 7, maybe 8 million on this. Again, on that. On the seller side, we're sitting at 5.5 million to 49. Well, 250,000 on the seller side. Uh, quite good up. On the buyer side, a little bit behind, I must say. Uh, 3,560,000 on the buyer side. Buyers, uh, yeah, like I said, staying a little bit behind on that. Drone shielding junk. A uh, little bit of movement here in the beginning of the week. Oh, this was during the weekend. We see uh, still the. That was a Friday, pretty normal price. Saturday went slightly up in price to 50,000. So almost doubled even here. But after that, we straight away back towards the normal price. Small increase on this day, on the Wednesday. Also dropped back down to a normal price. Uh, today, a little bit of an increase on that. I think I need to sneeze so very soon. Alright, I did. Um, so I've seen the increase for today even. And it almost was the, the 44,000 per unit. So we're seeing ups and downs on this. Um, I don't know really what this is going to do. But the thing it, it looks like it's trying to go up in price. But it does not succeed in it. Um, seeing 44,500 for the sellers. Can quickly go to 45,000 or 60,000 even. But this is still 630 units. I don't know how many units are needed for any of these productions. I have no idea on that. Uh, still an order of 2,000 coming in at 35,000. Is not bad. Some expecting this, uh, this to start go up quite soon in price a bit. Don't snap the relay wiring. Basically pretty much flat for the whole week. We've seen only for the last three days we've seen a little bit of an increase in price. On that we saw a little bit of a jump up on the Wednesday to nine and a half thousand but already dropped back down to eight and a half thousand but still higher than it was from it came from eight thousand three hundred. But we're seeing slowly an increase in price here. Um reasons? Maybe because this huge sales amount. So a little bit less supply on the market. Uh, that's pushing the price now slightly up. All that. But not sure if this is going to keep on pushing through. Still you pay almost 10,000 per unit currently on the seller side. Oh that's a quite high. Highest. 8,210. It is quite of a size order up here. Out of my head I think. But look at the rest of the amounts that's coming towards the market. Compared to this buy order. I think it's quite of a size order. Like I said, I don't know how much is needed in any of these productions. Uh, drone tactical limp. Basically nothing to say about this. Uh, sales went a little bit up this week. Uh, but steadily dropped over the week. Had no influence on the price. Nothing at all. We see a small increase on today's price. 
on that but pretty much since the whole week 18,700 this increase is to 24,200 on price so we may see a bump up in the weekend on price for that because the sales amount went uh, quite up for the whole week so expecting a little bit more on that uh, still 25,000 for the sellers but the, the amounts are really really small on this and the price can go up quite fast depending on how much of course is needed on the buy side 18,750 18, 18, yeah still on the end on, on my screen Elite Drone AI also here really really stable price on that same pretty much the whole week at at the 2.8 million around that price uh, not doing really anything we see a small spike up here just pretty much in the weekend to 3.3 million but not than 2.9 yeah probably see another small jump up in the weekend to 3 million 3.1 3.2 million and then back down again because it is quite stable on these 3.2 million for the sellers and 2.8 million on the buyers then we go on for fuel uh, we are only 36 minutes in helium fuel blocks really stable for the whole week uh, quite of a big sales uh, beginning of the week yeah it looks like Monday Tuesday I had quite a huge sales on that but had no influence on the price stay really stable at 21,300 on the price we see only a small increase currently today to 21,500 so we may see a small jump up in the weekend but since this is quite stable it seems to be uh, after the prices just suddenly went up uh, we are now back towards a stable price for few boss cars we're seeing here quite stable prices for all the time uh, then we got this uh, jump up in price and now we put much back at a normal point are we back at the same price by the way let's look at that uh, average price 20,000 no we are slightly higher on that on that price so if this is the new stable price it's uh, maybe looking more healthy for uh, new block production on that side for the sellers 21,239 on the buyers 20,000 and a half 20,500 hydro fuel blocks these are still on the drop on the price pretty much for the whole week uh, we have one day we have a missing data point that's the Wednesday we have no data of that uh, surprisingly still the line went down or was there just no sales on that day? That could be. No, hold on, no, there is data. There was like no sales on that day. But only 3,000 uh, units in total sold Wednesday. No wonder the price is dropping. Um, <laughs> the bar is not even visible here. So yeah, um, suddenly price is dropping quite rapidly on the uh, uh, last week we pretty much came from 23,000 per unit uh, dropping to 22,000 so about a thousand drop even on that uh, even today we are below the 22,000 uh, looks quite healthy on that looks like also this one is going back towards the normal price around the 22,000 uh, currently it is even dropping a little bit below that so yeah it's uh, making a drop on that Uh, price is currently um, just above the 22,000 all the sellers uh, and for the buyers 20,912 nitrogen fuel block there's not a lot of supply we saw quickly on the market um, quite stable pretty much for the whole week uh, sitting at 24,000 so still quite high on price on that Twenty-four, yeah, twenty-four. Then we see suddenly here, 
Uh, for the last four days, a jump up in price for nitrogen fuel blocks. Uh, jumping up to almost 25,500 per unit. And someone was smart, probably sold a lot or bought in a lot. But it's not that bad of a price. It's quite high. Uh, it came from 24 and a half. No, no, we're pretty much back at a normal price. But look at this. Um, it came quite low towards 20,000 there. Well, this this might indicate. Well, that was a little bit lower today on price. Back to pretty much 25,000. So I think it tried to go up in price, but it's not gonna not gonna reach it. I'm not gonna do it. We might see uh, during the weekend drop in price. But we have a chance to go up because the supply is quite low. On the market, 25,382 on the sellers and 22,200 on the buyers. I can already tell if we need fuel straight from the market, don't buy nitrogen. Oxygen. Um, made a quite of a drop, quite of a big difference between buyers and sellers here. Um, 21,000 on that and 23,000 on that. That's at least a 2,000 difference in price on that. But it's not really. It's, it is trying to go down. But we see for the last between yesterday and today, we've seen that the five-day average is already starting to go back up again. Uh, I cannot really tell where this one is going to go. Uh, it depends all amount what's now going to come towards the market or what's going to get bought off the market for that. But still it can it can go pretty much both ways on there. Uh, pretty much 23,000 currently for the sellers. Uh, 20,000 on the buyer's side. So a quick look at if you need fuel quickly. Um, If you need fuel fast, you're gonna be best off buying helium fuel blocks straight off the market. That is then the cheapest one. If you have time, you are best off of oxygen fuel blocks. That's the cheapest one currently at 20,000 on the buyer side. Helium is following up with that with 20 and a half thousand. But can fulfill quite quickly since these orders up. So as if you want helium fuel blocks, it's not gonna be a bad idea to put up orders there too. Because only one for twenty thousand. Then you're gonna drop back to ninety thousand six hundred. And you're not gonna have that chance quickly on the oxygen fuel block. So if you have uh, some is and wanna give it a guess on a long term, guessing that helium is gonna drop more. It would be a bit not a bad idea to set up an order around here. There are some big ones up here already, so it's, it's not a bad choice, I must say that. Uh, PI, broadcast notes. Not doing really anything this week, we see a little bit of an uptrend on that. On the 20 day, but you see on the 5 day average we went up a bit. But it's already starting to drop back down again. We see currently about 2.1 million, 2.2 million. At today's price, average price. Uh, but you see the price that we're jumping around to buyers and sellers. But that's all staying pretty much the same. Um, it looks like at least on the sellers the price is a little bit dropping. Compared to the last week. That was sitting right here at 2.3 million. I think now more around. Still around to 2.3 but slightly below that. And on the sellers looks to be a little bit dropping on price on there. Um, that's two jumps away. 2,265,000 currently for the sellers. On the buyers we're seeing you're paying 2.1 million. Well that's only 8 units but still uh, 2.1 million for the next one too. So it's not too bad on there. Integrated response drones. Uh, big sales here. Uh, that was... During the weekend after last week's video. On the Saturday, huge sales on that. Uh, you see, wait, cost the price went up. Uh, someone made a good choice, sell his stash. 
uh, made probably a good profit on that, but it straight away pushed the price back down to 2.6 million. Uh, making even more of a drop on the day after that to 2.4 million. You see already we're starting to go for slightly 2.5, 2.5, uh, 2.6, 2.7 even yesterday, but we always see now a little bit more of a drop on that 2.5 million on there so looks like at least someone made a good choice to sell a lot but straight away recover the price back to a pretty much normal price for the sellers about 2.7 million still for the sellers the supply is not too big but still there all 750 units is not a bad amount uh, on the buyer side 2,450,000 Nano factories not doing too much during the week. We see a little bit of a drop here on the I think that was still the Sunday. On the price dropped down to about a million per unit. Uh, but you can see already straight away coughing up to 1.1 million on the Monday and the Tuesday. Wednesday even went up to 1.2 million only for one day, uh, but already back towards pretty much a normal price around 1.1 million. Still a little bit of an up and down uh, sales month also yesterday quite high. It's probably an uh, indication why this price dropped suddenly. Because this price went up the day before that, so... This guy maybe choose too early to sales, sell it. I think this could have gone up more on price. But we still have this chance because the price is already going slightly up again. But it can... It maybe stopped the uh, push up on price. Uh, 1,150,000 currently on the sellers. Uh, and about just above 1 million on the buyer side. We're getting motor applicators. Um, pretty much the whole week sitting at the same price. We see maybe a really slight drop in it during the whole week. We've seen only a big drop in price today. Sales amounts were also quite high during the week, uh, especially for a week, all week, quite high. On that you could almost put a uh, flat line on here, it's uh, more than average, the price, uh, the sales amount on that. But for now, today we're making suddenly a drop to just above the 1 million for it, or well, pretty much the whole week we're sitting at 1.1, 1.2 million for that. So the sales amount during the week definitely had an effect on the price now. Um, but we may see uh, more movement during the weekend, uh, but I think seeing the drop down that it just gonna recover back again around to 1, 1.1, 1.2 million. Was, I'm expecting more just this suddenly drop because of the amount of sales that's happening on there. Uh, still for the sellers we're sitting at 1.1 million above it, a little bit above it. Uh, on the buyers. Yeah, rounded up is 1.1 million on the buyer side, but it is only 31 units. This is only 4 units. Um, this can get fulfilled very, very easily. Then we're gonna drop below the 1 million on the, on the buyer side. Because of computing uh, modules, uh, also here, pretty much for the whole week, dropping in price. Uh, we see the big sales even here on the 10th, that was on Monday. Um, I think no, not a sales, a buy up more likely, because the price went up on the day after that to 1.7 million. So someone bought in a load. Uh, still also that day, highest sales after that on the Tuesday. Uh, but already price is dropping again. And then surprisingly here for the last two days, well today and yesterday, uh, we're seeing a drop in price, that's 1.5 million, 1.6 million on that, so suddenly it changed after an uptrend in price, we now see suddenly a quite low price on this, uh, I'm not sure if this is a one year low, I don't think so, well, well, this might be a one year low, 1.5, 
1.5. Yeah, close, close, close. Just not one year low, but it is really, really close by it. Oops, wrong screen. So it is quite high, quite low the price now. Uh, almost a one year low of that. So let's put it back to 60 days. So yeah, it's uh, quite low on price. It's uh, If you want to gamble, you could definitely gamble on this. You have to is for it. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to go up, but it looks for now, it's still on the drop. I should wait a little bit more to see if it's going to drop more on that price. We're sitting currently on average prices around the 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 on that. Uh, 1.7 million for the sellers. On the buyers, we're still sitting at 1.5 million. Uh, orders are quite small. Well, this is still 300 units. It's not too bad. But prices are not too bad, really. You could make a guess on it, but you could guess wrong. Self-harmonizing power cores. Uh, a little bit of a drop in the beginning of the week. On that, we see a little bit jump up in the middle. It was 2.2, 2.3 million on that, but pretty much seeing for the whole week around 2 million on the price here. Uh, slightly above the 2 million, even. Just a little bit. Uh, also, yesterday, back to normal prices. Uh, quite low. I see even the 5 day average, pretty much for a st pretty straight line for the last 3 days. But currently, self harmonized power cores seems to be really stabilizing on price. Uh, looks like also, so we're pretty much on a normal price for that. Uh, 2.3 million for the sellers. Uh, and just about 2.1 million on the buyers. Stereo conducts. Um, quite of a movement in here. Begin for the week quite stable around the uh, 1.4 million. A little bit of jump up um, here, 1.5 million on the 8. That was on Saturday. Uh, but straight away day after that we're seeing a drop in price to 1.2 million for two days in a row. Uh, it looks like buyers sell is different 1.4 million and sell it here on the 11th on the Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday we're seeing again a drop in price with the redstone for today slightly higher. Um, yeah, it's quite of a movement here. Not really clear where this one is gonna go. Um, I think we are quite low in price. It is definitely really, really low in price. I think the lowest was right there. 1.2. 1.3. Yeah, we are really, really low on price still. It's not the year's low, that was a little bit uh, a few weeks ago. 1.2 million was the one year low. But we are still really, really close by of that. Of the one year low. So, current still contacts quite low on price. Uh, also, by sellers, not much of a difference in there. Quite a lot coming towards the market too. Uh, 1.3 million for the sellers. 1.2 million for the buyers. Wetware mainframe. I think this is going to be quite of a long one today. 54 minutes now. Uh, Wetware mainframe uh, making a drop in price clearly after the jump up like two weeks ago. Uh, jumping up to about two and a half million. And now see a steady drop again on this price. May drop in back towards this. Uh, about 2.2 million. Uh, that's my thing is slightly broken. Hold on. Okay, my 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 graph is slightly broken. Uh, of course, today's price is just there, about 2.1 million. That's that's a quite of a drop, quite low. This might be a one year low. No, not a one year low. One year low is around here. Nope, 2.1 million. Yeah, we're sitting 
pretty much having the year low is not the lowest I'm sitting on but it is quite low and now it's completely gone even okay hold on let me close this one and reopen it does that fix it no i lost uh <laughs> okay uh today's price is gone it's off my list it, i think she speed deleted it damn you guys uh, so i lost today's price average price uh, we probably can still find here uh, currently average price for today uh, about 2.1 million on that so i can find it back there for now uh, so yesterday 2.3 so we're sitting pretty much at the, the one year low marker and it was quite a while 2.1 million so really low on price for wet wear mainframes on that uh, 2.2 million for the sellers it's not too bad uh, 2 million for the buyers that's that's a low price definitely definitely a really really low price for that um, ships well, still only the car can have sorry haven't added more yet uh, Carcon did quite a make a jump up last week towards the 10 million uh, but you see already uh, it's starting to drop back down again oh no Monday it dropped back down and went to 9.2 million on the average price but already starting to big bit of a recovery to 9.7 million currently yes to no not yesterday's price the 12 was that um, that was Wednesday and first aid came out um, so it was on Wednesday 9.7 which dropped down on Thursday away to 9.4 million and today's average price we're sitting at 10 million almost 10 uh, yeah 10 million so uh, price of cargo is going up again uh, only six units sold today but already average price at the 10 million mark so it looks like cargo is uh, getting pushed up in price 9.7 million on the uh, the seller side is coming some new orders in here so price is getting pushed up uh, pushed down again here not pushed up uh, on the buy side, eight and a half million. So this was this week's look at the EMR market. Um, I'm still sitting really, really close towards the uh, 300 subs on my YouTube channel. Uh, you really can help me out if you sub me, uh, like the videos, to try to get more views on everything. Uh, really enjoy it. new videos coming out quite soon. I uh, hope at least this week to bring out a new one uh, of some new graphics from uh, from the game. You probably can already guess what it's going to be on that. But at least thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and fly safe.